Okay, let's continue with the device connectability demos. Uh, following up after the Raspberry Pi demo, what you see is uh, kind of awkward for the traditional Visual Studio view. It's an Android app built on C Sharp. I'm uh, taking advantage of the Xamarin tooling for the Android Android building. Uh, I've created a basic app and set up the uh, emulator so that it works uh, to underline how compatible we are um, with the ball client I'm referring to Android 2.2 version which is somewhere around two and a half years old at least uh, and I prefer my reference device of my own phone of LGP 500 so let's confirm first that our debugging here works I start to run the debugger in the Visual Studio it should start the app just fine. Yeah, functional. So we have the basic Android Android app set up in there and stop debugging. Now to get the the ball client in here, we'll uh, use the NuGet. That's kind of the standard for. Uh, Visual Studio packages. Uh, I'll do the simple search for the ball and it shows our client as a first with the current version of no, the 0 0.9.5 beta 1. I'll proceed on installing it and it grabs some dependencies mainly the WebSo WebSocket Sharp some of the other dependencies are right now uh, hard-coded. It's also using JSON effects from the NuGet as well, but there is a problem that uh, Android APIs don't recognize the JSON effects being compatible with them, so I had to plug it in uh, uh, in our package. Then I'll cheat a bit. I have a pre-made copy-paste code for the button click. It's quite simple and I'll go through it throw it go through with you about what it's what it's changing it's mainly wants to use and by the way we are using resharper as well for the visual studio usability features i let it fill me the references so what it simply does it's the it's the first time you see the api parts it's creating the connection with the same parameters actually that the content sync tool is. Then it's doing some something around the our local data storage within the Android. So it's doing simple dirs uh, directory listings, create some staging data, and then it's executing the set staging within uh, and calling the stage operation. So this is now through the API, basically the same commands that we ran with the tool before. And uh, it's built in a way that if there is an existing connection, it proceeds with the staging operations with the same button click. Uh, if there is not existing connection with this name, then it's going to create it. So what I will do is that I modify the API from here to match our ID, API call that is. So I grab this one here. and replace it to here save it build the solution okay and then let's toggle some breakpoints in that we see what it's doing okay and then let's start debugging Oh, and we got the build failed because we are lacking something in here. Yeah, I, I was missing one of the one of the parts in there. Let's try the build again. Okay, good. And then we do a five five debugging. 
and knock the wood. Okay, it's starting up. Let's see. We should hit the breakpoint, yes, with the create connection. I'll just continue. And now from this side. We should get the text of the button changing once it's done with the connection. Yeah, EKE done in three six point three seconds. Now it should be yes. Now it got through that code. So we go again to the platform to validate the thing. We can refresh the devices first to see. we should have our Android test listed now in here. Yeah, Android Xamarin is here, not validated yet. Let's go to the Yahoo Mail. Check out the spam first. Here we have it. It's not spam. And I'm clicking through here. Again, connection from tool with name Android Xamarin test. And we approve it it should have yes it's validated and now let's try to run the app on next stage so I click again here and we get to the other branch of the of the code it sets some locations based on the information. For instance, our development data folder will be under uh, application specific files stage dev, uh, dev part. Then it's getting just for the reference our personal stuff, so the things that we have uh, as an application folder in here. So that's the existing stuff. Then it creates few directories in there. It writes a file, hello from Android with this name. Then it sets the staging. And by the way, the staging can be set and reset over and over again. It's simply reconfiguring it. Now I hit the F5 to run the actual stage operation. And let's see what its console is saying in here. It starts to fetch the data as with before, and then it should be pushing. Yes, it uploaded the hello from Android. And if we now check out the, our staged stuff, we can see from the Android file system that this is the stuff we have in there. So I continue running. Let's go back to the group data storage view. I refresh from here. We have again dev some Android, which has the hello from Android. And as with before, dev and what is it was spelled? Zam Android hello from Android. And there we have our current time into UTC time, apparently. So that's the demo, how, how easy it is to get the API from the NuGet and uh, start plugging the Android device in.